Hi everyone, Richard here. It's, it's been a while since my last video um, and I just thought I'd post an update. Say hello to everyone. How are you doing? Hope you're okay. I'm in the middle of uh, doing a fair bit of kits, you know, nothing too strenuous. The weather's been quite off and on. It's rather windy where I am, so you can't spray paint in the wind. So what am I left to do? Absolutely nothing. So I just thought I'd take the opportunity to show off some of my mistakes. We all, all of, our, all of us like to praise us for, uh, to take praise for all our triumphs, our great kits. So, you know, I'd like to put them on the shelf where everyone can see, but no one takes the time to sort of show off from our, our mistakes. And I like, I don't mind making mistakes, you know, I like to learn from them. I don't go out of my way to make them, but just the way they end up. So I'm just gonna, this of course we all know is my straw, only kit they ever made. Well, they're still not the only, 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 you know what I mean. They never brought out a high grade or a 1100. Since, well, you know, this isn't one of my mistakes. So let's get rid of him. I'm gonna start with the, the no grades. Yeah, back him up so you can see. It's Gundam Leopard from Gundam X. This is the 1144 no grade. And some of you eagle-eyed viewers can see that I've taken some parts from the no grade heavy arms. So I've added him on. Yeah, and yeah, these things opened missiles and still got all the articulation. But this is all hand painted using watercolours. And you're probably looking thinking, he looks pretty good, he looks okay. But no, this is not something I really display on the front of my shelf. It's not brilliant. Even the shield is snapped. You probably can't even see. The shield snapped. It fell over and it's literally snapped. So I've got super glue back on and you know, I'll better look next time. I do actually have, as you can see in my pile of upcoming kits to make, another one. And I'm going to try and do it again properly this time. Moving on, we have got my mobile flats from turn A. The one on the right is half painted, the red was painted and the, the camera, that was painted, the rest of it wasn't. Well, the, the silver was painted, but the blue, I couldn't match the colour, so I thought I'd leave it, just leave it as it was. Except on the back, you can see I couldn't match it, so it's just a light Gundam mark of purple. I didn't do a particularly amazing job on the red, just enamel red spray paint. But with this one, I upped my game. They never made one like this. Militia colours, purple and red, they pretty much just reversed the colour scheme. But for some reason, on the chest, no idea why, it just came out differently. Flat red to more glossy red, honestly, don't know why that happened. I did do a little bit of touching up, but not that much. Strange. Perhaps one day I'll redo it. But, you know, battle damage, weathering, whatever you want to call it. That's fine. He um, still tr transforms this with this one. As I'm talking about things falling over and breaking, the head did actually fall off and break. He just fell forward. You can see he, come on, where is he? He leans forward quite a bit. The feet are not particularly secure. They're just literally held in with friction. And he went flying and, I don't know if you can, if you can make it out. You can sort of make it out. Where it broke and it's now just super glued in and that does affect the transformation. So, uh, transformation where you literally just flop at the, uh, you can see it's fallen out. You see it's fallen out already, that's nothing. I don't even know where it's, yeah, it's over there. I don't even really remember how you do it. You just kind of flop it over and tilt the head up slightly. There it goes and that's essentially a crude example of the transformation. It wasn't a huge transformation, but nevertheless, nevertheless you see you've got to be careful when you get the feet round. Let's see, can we do it on camera? Will he do it? Yes. Moving on to the 
high grades. I think we'll start with perhaps my biggest no-no. This Akatsuki, but not just normal Akatsuki. It was the TT Hongli version. I know, TT Hongli piece of shit. Excuse me, pardon my French. But this really, really is, an, is awful, this one. It was cheap on eBay. And I thought, well, I'm, I was curious as to what was going on. The TT Hongli, so I thought I'd have a go. And it was just awful. There was no colour to it. All that red is painted on, except the, on the feet, but it was flat. I had to make it metallic -y. You know, and I've lost the chin. I don't know if you can see there. Under all the shine, I've lost the chin. The head, the V-fin and the head will fall off at the drop of a hat. These can't stay on. If we pick it up like that. You see it's fallen off. You could probably heard that. Fall off the flight pack. And, well, some TT Hogley kits can be pretty good. I know there are other people on YouTube who will talk about them more than I. But this was just, just no. Just bits will fall off a drop of heights. Only displayed on my shelf because it's shiny. That's basically it. Now from one shiny to another, Blue Destiny. Now I'm not sure if this, is, if this is a Gundam or it's a GM or it didn't say on the box, it just said it's a early mass production type. So it's got two two guns, one lovingly donated for my GM Striker, which will not be featured in this list. I'm going to go back over this guy and redo it. Redo it. You can sort of see I went to town really overly panel lining it here and there. And but the one thing which really makes this a mistake is that leg. It's a bit stiff, but it bends. This one. And it's fallen off. It's held together with blue tack. I got sold a clear coat, which never should have gotten sold to me because it was for metallics, for metal, sorry. It was for metal, not for plastic. And I thought, well, this might be a cheaper alternative than spray painting it. And it wasn't. It just pretty much, there's no articulation in the top of the leg that's glued in. I thought, well, I've got to have a little bit, so I just held it in with blue tack and no, no. I'm going to go over and fix some of the some some parts of it. You know, I can't obviously fix that. But I'm going to make go over and do the weapons again and do the weapons again and paint the triangle and you can see here it's a bit dark on one side, light on the other. So if I get if I get you know want to fix it, fix it. You know, it might be fun one day. I'm going to throw this guy in. This is my age one. I'm not hugely impressed with this model. He just seems a bit flimsy and a bit there, eh, a bit cheap. And you know, you can see there, he's just nothing to him. But I painted what looked like the Mark II. I thought the age one in the second generation should have, you know, should have got a Mark II color, color scheme. This is my opinion. But one thing I did do with this guy is move the, I gave him movable knee armour early attempt at modification I think I'm quite happy with that quite like it but if I could have done this guy again I would you see that blue I think it's the right ish blue for it's just called midnight blue for it and but I, I screwed up the first time and I had to sand him down and I can't say I did a particularly brilliant job sanding him down and I didn't spray it rightly so I'm not doing the whole thing with the window cleaner in it because I don't really want to knacker the part you know not for something like this and I used glossy white on it and it didn't come out particularly you can see you can see there hopefully you can see that my camera is doing it my camera's doing a good job picking all that up and really I could go over and do this again the thing that I'm really proud of I really do like the gun the whatever what it was called the Dodds rifle I think because I did some layering with that with metallics and it was the first thing I did I thought oh wow this is going to come out really nice and Sod's Law intervened and just no unfortunately no but he's got a bendable knee he's got the armour 
and I don't know if you can see there, but yeah, I kind of cut the corner slightly. So he's going to go in the prototype pile and wants to be done again. My last of the 1144 is Goof or Goof or whatever you want to call him, Custom. This is the HGUC, not the, the previous one. And yes, that is Shah's colour scheme in red and pink. In all as best I could do, red and pink. And I gave him a beam sword from Goofy Knight from Gundam C. Just why not? There's the original sword, which did seem a bit weak and underpowered when fighting the EZ8. And notice I said EZ8. And it's beam saber, and it's just kind of seem weird. So he's got a beam sword. This is the Beam Gatling. Now you might be thinking he did pretty good. And apart from that, and I've just noticed that his shoulder arm has fallen off. And it was there a second ago. And that's one of the things I'm kind of annoyed with this guy because there it is. Because when I was painting it, and I was painting him brush painting line, the uh, spray painting didn't take and it was a bit weird and so I brush painted it and and uh, so you can see, hopefully you can see uh, on a bit. hopefully you can see the um, disintegrated, plastic disintegrated so unfortunately in there it's, it's all disintegrated so it just sits on with gravity Maybe one day I'll do them again. Because I really like this kit. It's a bit it's a bit on the expensive side for the HGUC kits, but quite enjoyable. I was really it's really my first real attempt at painting a complete paint job. I done some some like semi paint job, you know, just the armor or just one colour or just this was my first complete paint job and it wasn't a success. Yes. Although it will come off. I'm quite happy with I'm quite happy with where the Gatling gun came out. You know, I've weathered it, battled it a bit more and nice shiny yellow drum. It's kind of nice. Just a shame the rest of it didn't come out like that. Moving on to my um home one hundreds. Zoom out a bit more. My serpents. You can see the right leg went a bit weird. Don't know why. He's, that one's just a bit loose. I hadn't quite got round to um, doing the things in the seam, so I'm still learning painting. I think the you know the white over grey came out quite nice, and you know and the the gatlings came out quite nice. Put around the back here, and yes, you can see the blue tack. And for those of you who know. I kind of put these on the wrong way around. Don't care that I put them on the wrong way around. But the thrusters were a bit fiddly and they, disintegr they disintegrated again inside. I suppose the simple thing to do is just unclip it and now it's a ground type. But at least I've got some leftover weapons to deploy and with this one. But all the um, the grey, the brown armour, whatever you want to call it, that's unpainted, it's, the, it's just half painted. So, there we go, this guy. Come on, Dynamis from Double O. I tried to go for a jungle scheme, and it looks okay, you know, camouflage wise. You can put it in a bush and lose it. But it's not very aesthetically pleasing. Let me go there. You know, it's okay for a first attempt. This binder actually, it fell over on my shelf and it hit the floor kind of like that and it snapped. So it's all being held in with super glue. And that just kind of look a bit, looks a bit awful. Doesn't it? All this moves and not affected the articulation. If you want to know about articulation, I have plenty of reviews of this guy online. And of course you've got the infamous wonky ankles. And 
So but this guy, he's next, not quite next next on the list, but he's sort of next on the list to get redone. I'm doing Cheridum at the moment in a nice urban desert camo. That's a nice pose. And that's him just falling over, a nice pose. So I'm going to do this guy again and I'm going to do in Tiger Stripe. I've ordered some decals from off Samuel Decal. And yeah, hopefully I should, you know, second time lucky. I'm just going to show this guy because I know this guy he's, he's popular and he's not popular and you know um, the gold on this isn't particularly brilliant you know the silver's kind of pink I wanted the silver to come out really silver but it didn't you know can you see can you see that where this, it's kind of worn off and there are other places, there's a good good example if you can see that, he's doing the massive splits because this guy is beyond fragile, look there, that's just sweaty finger, sweaty thumb and that just literally wore off and that, if you think the double O kits are unstable yeah, this guy does not want to stand up on your shelf. He flops down. He's actually being supported by two other, two other kits. Yeah. Well, God of Sid Mead is an excellent designer, but they didn't do a very good job in translating this over to a kit. What else is there? Gun Tank, one of my favourite, 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 favourite kits. I've got this in high grade as well. I painted the inner frame and I'm going to get round to painting the outer frame, the armour, but yeah I screwed up the decals and 108 there and that says 109 and I kind of tip X'd it and tried to make it into an 8 and screwed it up completely and that's a sticker but I actually have the water slides for it somewhere, somewhere Have the water slides. I don't know if you can see that. See, that's where I got the numbers for my G for my GM striker. I got the numbers, and he's going to get redone at some point in the future when the weather improves. Gun tank completely unpainted, but tracks absolute pain in the ass. Yeah. Why couldn't they have just given us rubber tracks like every other tank? I don't know. But otherwise, love this guy. He's kind of one of my favourite. He sits at the front of my shelf, even with no tracks on. So, sort of looking for stuff to show off now. Do you like that? My turn A, my no grade turn A, and big turn A fan, as you've seen. That was just using a biro, really, a pen, deep, deep, thick channel line, panel lines, a real touch marker, and it's you now battle damage D, sort of, and it's hand painted, so quite happy with that. So, that really, that is, really, that's all from me, really. That's, that's my bad experience with kits. This is my good guy, my good attempt, my, my best attempt so far. Really, um, I'm doing the Cheridum in my custom colour scheme. I've not got that ready now. I was thinking about it, but I just forgot to pick it up. It's out there drying. I'll be showing that off when it's finished. I've done my strike, I've finished my Visago, and when I do Leopard, finish doing that in 100, I will show all them off together and make a big deal of it. Yeah, I can't. So you can see I'm trying to, I'm struggling, stretching it all out. So, hopefully, I will do a list. Hopefully it won't be as long as this of kits that I've done particularly well. Um, and hopefully um, this guy will definitely be on there and hopefully he won't be number one. Hopefully there will be a new number one. Until then, you know, this is Richard, 1701. I will talk to you later. Feel free to leave a comment and subscribe if you want to. Take care and goodbye.